worry, I'm leaving the premises. We were in the back of the store. Dad had just given you two pennies. And you always hid them behind the counter in this big crack in the floorboards. He said you were saving them so you could buy a town. And then the two guys came in. We could hear them talking, but you weren't paying attention until Dad yelled. And you looked up. They had already pulled a gun. They had already taken the money. And now they wanted to watch that Mom gave him. You wouldn't get it up. It was a gunshot. You punched forward. I remember I was trying to get to him. I couldn't move. The cell was holding you so tight that you couldn't budge. But you don't have to fill my shoes. Alright, tell me what you're trying to do. If you so choose, you can take the Don't put yourself through this. You're too fragile. I am not fragile. I'm a drug addict. I've fallen off the wagon twice and I've gotten back on. That does not make you fragile, Derek. That makes you very freaking strong. Recovery. You okay? She works really hard at it. She's been successful in recovery. And Is that a meeting? This hospital should have protected her. This woman should have protected her. And more importantly, I should have protected her. I didn't. And I didn't because I wanted her job. She has no longer than you. I wanted my own job. On a much higher level. That is all there is to it. Bite me. How can you do this to me? I will do me. me. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Nice. I get it. You were king of all neurosurgeons, right hand to the president, and now you can't have that. So you need to be king of the hospital and kick around I'm the people. trying to, but you are, Derek. You are doing... I've always wanted to protect you ever since Dad died. I didn't want to. I'm sure you didn't want me to. But I promised. Then he came up here and I realized... I didn't have to worry anymore. You were okay. You were fine. You were more than fine. You could take care of yourself now. I didn't need to. I needed you today. You're my brother. Boyfriend. She's my sister. I'm her brother. His sister. You're, you're my favorite sister. <laughs> you say that to all of us. But I will choose to believe you because you are my favorite brother. Follow my footprints, but you don't have to fill my shoes. It's just a path for you to follow if you so choose. You can take the road less traveled. Yeah, I probably do that too. But if you're lost and feeling broken down and bruised, you can follow the foot.